Hey guys, it's Andy here. Now, the other day, I appeared in a Tom Scar video. I'll leave the link down below. The video was about Oreos, and I appear in it briefly for a couple of seconds. But still, see if you can spot me. So, we've been having some freakishly nice weather here in England recently, and it's given me the idea to make these cool DIY solar lanterns. Just like many of my projects, they're very simple to make, so without further ado, let's do it. So, for this project, you'll need the following items. First of all, you'll need some cheap solar garden lights. I got three of these for about a pound each. They sell them at the garden centre or even the local supermarket. I'm also using some of these glass candle holders. You don't have to use these exact ones, in fact something like a jar or a small vase would work just as well. I'll be filling the lanterns with some decorative pebbles. I got most of these from the local garden centre for very cheap. But you could easily use pebbles from your back garden or even use something like sand and seashells to decorate the lantern with. I'll also be using some brown string to help secure and decorate the lantern and I'll be using some hot glue. To begin with, I filled up the candle holders with the decorative pebbles. As you can see, in this one, I layered the pebbles. And in the other, I kind of mixed them up a bit. Remember, you don't have to use pebbles, you can decorate these with whatever you like. Next, I took apart the solar lights. Most of them have this circular piece on the top which houses the solar panel and the LED. This is the piece that you'll need. I'll basically be using the rope to secure this above the rocks like so. I then used four pieces of the string, each being about five inches long. I then used hot glue to secure them at opposite sides of the panel as shown. There we go. I then used a longer length of string and wrapped it around the outer part of the panel. I then tied it all together and chopped off the remaining ends and it's looking good. Once that was done, I glued the four pieces of string across from each other on the outer rim of the candle holder so it would suspend the solar panel like so. There we go, just need to trim off the remaining string. I then wrapped a longer length of string around the upper rim of the candle holder in the exact same way as I did with the solar panel. I still had quite a bit of rope left over, so I decided to wrap some around the bottom as well. Looking pretty good on the balcony there. And here they are lit up in the evening. I quite like the rock shaped silhouette that it gives off as well. So that's how to make these cool DIY solar lanterns. Now, here in England, it tends to rain a lot, and as you can see, these things are not the most waterproof things in the world. However, it's pretty simple to make a more waterproof version. All that you need to do is find a glass that has a slightly wider circumference than the solar panel thingamajig. And then you need to wrap some elastic bands around here, and then it should just kind of squeeze and secure into place in the glass. And that way, it will be waterproof. So there we have it. DIY solar lanterns. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to check me out in Tom Scar's new Oreo video, and other than that, I will see you next time.